Hello, everybody. What's going on? How are we all doing today? It's Sunday. It's three o'clock. Rod is on my desk. Go figure. So, welcome to my stream. I didn't realize somebody else was streaming at the same time. Ah, if I would have known that, I probably wouldn't have scheduled it, but turn you around so everyone can see your fuzzy ass. <laughs> well, too much light. There we go. Yeah. Now everybody can see your fluffy butt. Now everybody can see your fluffy butt. <laughs> Can't have a stream without Prada. Cannot have a stream without the Prada. Nope. You are such a sweetheart. You know that? You're such a sweetheart. This cat loves everybody. <laughs> oh. So. You have a $2,000 cat right now. Her name is Bandit. <laughs> so, let's take a look who's here. We got Trina. Hi, Trina. Got Starbuck. Got Patrick Geis. Got Alex. Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. Gray here, Discoveries. Hello, how are you? Got Sadmac, of course. Hey, there's Christian. Better known as Fogwraith. The guy who owns Macintosh Garden. Welcome. Oh, Dave gave me a $1 super chat. Thank you very much, Dave. Wow, got Jay here from the House of Moth. Holy crap. I didn't think he would show up for a PC related stream. Gotta pay you to. <laughs> I ain't paying you shit. Oh, we got Girth. And looks like that's about it. Okay. If I missed your name, sorry. And as I see you guys have already taken notice that I am now officially monetized. Mm. So you guys wish to help out you're more than welcome to throw me a couple super chats anything you guys donate minus what google takes of course will automatically go to the channel and by going to the channel i mean it will probably go to my fuzzy overlords in one way or another uh, i don't eep <laughs> hey teradyne oh Mwah. So, uh, after I get rid of my fuzzy overlord here, who, by the way, you want to know how spoiled this cat is? He just spent the last hour taking a nap with me, curled up with me, like practically in my face, smothering me. So, anybody who thinks that this cat is neglected can go to hell. <laughs> oh. So since Christian's here, I have to make the obligatory. Make sure you go to Macintosh Gordon, MacintoshGarden.org and download all your stuff from him because if you're not downloading it from him, you're going to the wrong place. <sighs> Mine would be meow. Hey, Boots, give me a meow. No, I better not wake the Kraken. <laughs> uh. 
That's cool, Starbuck. <laughs> Thank you, Trina. My keyboard's kind of a pain to get to. Are you neglected? If you're not careful, I'm going to send you to go live with Trina. <laughs> yeah, um, Boots is sleeping right now, too. There on top of my chair. So I said, I don't really want to wake the Kraken. Because if I do, then she'll start meowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I, he'd probably be okay until you try to take him out of the house. And then he'd probably... Well, it, actually, he'd probably be even okay once you took him out of the house. If you, once you started getting him in a car, he'd probably start flipping out on you. <laughs> this is this is my entire life right here. I have no wife, no girlfriend, no nothing. It's just me and seven cats, or me and one cat mainly. Yeah, that's uh, Lucy behind me, Lucifer, right here. That's uh, that's that's Miss Lucifer. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patrick. Meow. Always much appreciated. <clears throat> Lucy, what are you doing, little girl? Oh, I know. You're so neglected. You're so neglected. Why, did you send me something there? Oh, hi, Al. I didn't even see that, Alex. I'm sorry. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. I thought I said something. I apologize. Or did you send me another one and I, and I missed it? This is Lucy. She's a little brat. She's cute. She doesn't like being held, though. As long as I'm scritching her, she's usually okay. <laughs> she kind of has her own... She kind of has her own way. This is Boots' sister, by the way. Well, here you go, Alex. I'm giving you $2 worth of kitties. And then... There's a tabby cat. Hey, tabby cat. Come here, tabby. Okay, I'm going to put you down. You're clawing. Oh, my God! Oh. This is Tabby. He's a chunky boy. He's a big sweetheart. He's another daddy's boy. This cat is fucking huge. He's 20 pounds of pure, unadulterated feline. <laughs> I mean, look at this belly. Oh! <laughs> he hates being held. He tolerates it because he gets attention, but he does not like it. He does not have a mean bone in his body. Uh, he's just a big baby. So, 
No, he's a handsome boy. He's a very handsome boy, aren't you? See? You're the handsomest man. Yes, you are. He's also one of my oldest. I've had this one longer than I've had Prada. <laughs> Her nickname is Chunks. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Whew, I'm worn out now. My God. I can't waste more than most of my computers do. <laughs> he goes crazy for strings or wires or anything he loves it he does not chase a laser pointer Now he's worn out. <laughs> oh, hey, Ozalot. Well, I tried to get rid of him once, and then he came right back. So sometimes it's better just to have a, a cat-centric stream. Because it's easier than fighting the cats to stay away. Can I do my thing, Neil? Can I do my thing now? <laughs> oh, let's see here, Starbucks. So I have uh I have Sassafras, I have Tabby, I have Prada, I have Boots, Lucifer, uh Midna, and Lydia. Those are my seven. Three boys and four girls. Or no. Yeah, three boys and four girls. <laughs> this is he would be here 24 hours a day if i whenever i'm home he's up my butt he is so far up my butt it's not funny he acts like he's so neglected Can I do my thing now, or... No? You just want to lay here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should just rename this. We're just going to watch Prada for the next two hours. Because he won't move. Yeah. Cats have staff, that's for sure. This one is my furry overlord. Without, without any doubt, this is my furry overlord right here. It's like from the minute I walk in the door to the minute I go out the door the next day to go to work. I mean, this cat is, like, supremely up my butt. The only time I get peace and quiet from this cat is when I go to the bathroom. And that's only because 
The bathroom is dominated by Lydia, my other floofy cat. Now, you don't have to install games on Prada. Prada is a game. It's kind of fun to play with sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise, this is about the extent of his abilities right here. It's just sleeping. <laughs> And it's hard to tell when he purrs because he doesn't purr very loud. He does purr. He's purring right now. I can barely feel it, but he is purring. How many purr bites does he have? Oh. I think I wore him out playing with the playing with him with the mouse. <laughs> No, Dave, amazingly, he, he, he doesn't actually uh, try to help me with the computers too much. Boots, on the other hand, now, she would probably try to help me. But thankfully, she's asleep. And we're going to let her stay that way. Ugh. That's the way Boots is, Starbuck. The minute you touch her, she starts going to town, and she has got the loudest, deepest purr. Oh, my Lord. All right, I'm going to try to accomplish something now. Is that okay? Please? <laughs> He knows he's the center of attention right now. All right, come on. All right. I'm sure that'll be short-lived, but... Oh, wow, he actually ran out of the kitchen. He must be hungry. So. Oh, shit. It's awake. Now we're hosed. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, excuse me. I am tired today. I still got to do laundry yet. In case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday. Mm. All right. So we got ourselves this uh, nice uh, little IBM thingy here. Flip it on its side so it can look inside. So, there it is. So, what are we going to do? Well, I think the first thing I want to try to do is maybe install some RAM in it. It has 32 megs in it now, which is actually pretty good. But since it's not 1997 and RAM doesn't cost a bloody fucking fortune and I have a crap load of it, I figure why not try to shove as much shit as we can in this thing. And then, I don't have any video cards, unfortunately. So we're kind of have to, going to have to stick with the, the ATI Rage two for now which isn't a bad choice i think it's got two megs of ram um but i would like to try to find a a better video card for it in the uh, future and as i mentioned before the whole product going into the kitchen and eating was a very short-lived sentiment you're a jerk you know that you are just a freaking jerk well
So this only has PCI and ISA Trina. There is no AGP or anything on this board. Um, this was a uh, this was a pretty low cost machine, so uh, no AGP. So. So we're gonna have. I'm gonna forego video cards now. I have to. I don't have any PCI video cards. All I have are AGP. So, um, I might try to source something in the future, but I'm probably not gonna get too crazy about it, because really, for what I want to use this machine for, I don't really need a real high-end video card. To be honest with you, I mean, it's only got a K62. It's a. I think a 266 or. I think it's a 266. So we're not exactly cooking with fire or anything like that. So, but I do have some upgrade potential there as well because it is a standard socket 7 motherboard. <laughs> so, so the first thing we need to do is pull the power supply out. And we have to remember this third power supply connector here. So this is a really strange freaking power supply. A voodoo. I've never had a voodoo. So, come on, Brian. Let me see if I can find some information on this board here. These 50, oh, 58XA. So apparently this motherboard was used by both Acer and IBM. Hey, Greg. Uh, let's try the other display. So here's the here's the motherboard. This is a uh, some manual I found for the Acer. Apparently there's a jumper setting to turn the IBM logo off. So I don't know if Acer sourced these from IBM or if IBM sourced these from Acer. That's kind of interesting.
System for PCB number 97114-1 or 97-2. So this is a 97114-2 system board. So I can take this up to uh, a 4.5 multiplier, which should allow me to put a K6, at least a 500 in it, which would be pretty cool. Looks like I can do 83 times 5. I right, give it up to 415. So, it looks like it officially officially supports a uh, AMD K6 300, but I'm sure we could probably go higher than that. So. Let's see what for memory. Okay, here we go. So here's our dim configurator. Looks like it looks like it officially supports a maximum of sixty four megs. If I remember correctly, I got thirty two in it now. Yep, there's thirty two in it now. So with another stick of RAM, we should be able to get up to 64. Well, I've got a lot more technical information than I have ever imagined. Holy crap. This like goes into every little bit and piece about the chipset. <laughs> I don't need all that. Yeah. IRQ, DMA, memory address conflicts. Oh yeah, it's the good old good old early days of PCs. It's wonderful. Well let me go get some memory here.
So, <laughs> so let's see what we got here. So this technically takes PC sixty six memory, but PC one hundred should down clock. Let's see if I have anything small. Here's a 64. There's a 64. There's a 64. Looks like 64 is the smallest I have. Ah. All right. Give me one second.
Oof, sorry about that, guys. Oh, all right. I'm back. Oh. No, I found a memory. I had other issues. I apologize. So, okay. So what we're going to do here is unwrap these cables first off. There they are. So these are the power supply. Or the motherboard. Those are the ones I want. So what I'm going to try here, do some experimentation. Oh, goody. <laughs> Uh. So I have any one gig, twenty seven hundred laptop RAM. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I probably do. <sighs> have to look for it. So let's try. I don't even know if there's any of this RAM's gonna work. But damn it. Oh, we got an IBM logo, so that's a good start. Oh, shit. Okay. So it says 97, 920 KB good. So that's 98 megs of RAM. So that tells me it sees that. That memory. Yeah, it says 64 megs in the second bank. So, well, shit, this might work out better than I thought. So how about if we put a second 64 meg? I'm curious.
Let's try a 128 once and see what happens. Well, got an IBM logo again. Well, it's definitely taking a while to fucking boot. That's a good sign, I guess. Hey, Nick. How you doing? All right, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. Well, I think it froze up. Yeah, it locked up. Okay. I had a feeling. But we know we can use 64, so let's see. I would have killed to have 128 megs of RAM in a machine like this. Yep, Nick. Playing with the IBM. Yep, 128 megs. What? Steve, read the screen and find out. Working on the app, Diva. <laughs> oh, 
Why is it asking me for a password all of a sudden? That's weird. Let's do a BIOS clear once. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got a jumper on here for Acer BIOS or OEM BIOS. And I just now noticed that the, the BIOS chip says copyright Acer Incorporated. Huh. I'm just curious what happens. Uh, see, now at the bottom of the screen it says copyright Acer Corporate Incorporated. Instead of I, it doesn't show the IBM splash screen anymore when I flip that BIOS. <laughs> That's. Ah. That's uh, that's rather unique. So my guess is that IBM must have sourced these boards from Acer. Trying to find out where the, uh, where the BIOS, whoops, clear jumper is here. Okay, here we go. Fucking jumpers. I don't miss jumpers. Let me tell you. Ugh. Password is loose. <laughs>
All right. We got 128 megs in this thing. That's not too bad. It's a hell of a lot of memory for a K6266. So I want to go into startup options. Let's try something once. Wonder how far we can push the envelope. No shit. <laughs> so now it's reading 196 megs. Okay. In that case, so that's a hundred and twenty eight bag stick. All right, looks like 128 is about as good as we're going to get. Doesn't like the 256. So let's put a couple 128s in here. That should be more than enough memory to run Windows 98. What do you think? There we go, 261,760K, good.
Uh, except it's locking up. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, 128 megs each. I think we'll leave it like that. We're going to do it. Might as well push the limits. All right. All right, exercise some crude cable management. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to have to pass on Linux. All right, so so we got memory, yay! We have a stray CD-ROM audio cable here. Goes to Kia. Okay, there we go. Now, let's get some networking in this bitch. I have never in my life heard of puppy limits. All right, so let's give her a 10100 3Com network card. This is a plug and play card. And I'm going to leave the modem in for now. I don't know why, but what the fuck? Why not? Okay. Now, we should be able to access the internet in as limited a fashion as we can on such an old machine. Yeah, plug and pray like hell it's gonna fucking work. That's for sure.
So. Put her upright. I don't think that was fucked up. Got our yellow one. Put that bitch into a gigabit switch. And I'm telling you, this thing here. This is a cheap rubber doom keyboard. And this doesn't say, so this is from 1996 and doesn't say Lexmark on it. But I'm telling you, this thing weighs like a bloody fucking ton. It, it weighs like, it weighs like a zillion fucking pounds. All right, so another thing we're not sh I'm not sure of is if my CD-ROM drive even works. So I guess we'll find that out. Yes, to keyboard error or not detected. Ah. Wait, I just realized how shitty that display looks. Okay, so it's found the Ethernet controller. So, I don't have a Windows 95 disk. And I want to install Windows 98 on this anyway. Hey, the CD ROM works. Um, Sprayway Glass Cleaner SW050 available at your local Fisher's Auto Parts store or other retailers close by. This is some of the best fucking glass cleaner in the world. Hey, Mike, how you doing? So now we have 256 megs of RAM here. I think that's enough to run uh, Windows 98. What do you think? Oh, 
I like the foam stuff because it doesn't it doesn't run. At least it's not as fast. Probably gonna need a. Uh... Oh, there it is. I'm, say, I'm probably gonna need a CD key, but <laughs> I got one written right on there. One of the main reasons I'm doing Windows 98 is because it's it's a lot better for USB and uh, newer peripherals. Driver supports a lot better. Plus, it's a little more stable than Windows 95, no matter which flavor of Windows 95 you have. Yeah, 256 was here. This computer was made back in, I'd say, 97-ish. And it came with 32 megs. So 256 megs of, of RAM in this thing is, is, like, fucking ungodly. I think we have more than enough to, to last us for a while. <laughs> I mean, machines in, like, 2000, 2001 that were running Windows XP only had 256 megs. No, because we're not going to uninstall Windows So when I was in junior high school, we had, um, when I was in sixth grade, we still had TRS-80s running CPM, and they had, um, they had 32K of RAM, I think. Might have been 64K. And then we upgraded to the Apple IIs, and they all had 128K. And when I went to high school, we went from a, a 128K Apple II to a, a, a an 8 meg 486. <laughs> I mean, it was like freaking night and day. And see, so we were still running um, Windows 3.1 then, too. Yeah. yeah, Windows 3.1 is not bad. It has its uses. 
I have Windows 3.1 on my IBM P70. I only load it when I have to, when I when I need it though. I usually stay in DOS otherwise, because that thing has such a small hard. It's only got a 60 meg hard drive in it. So I I have Windows installed on my external 500 meg hard drive. Runs well on that thing because that's got 8 megs of RAM in it. This has a. I think it's a 1.2 gig Western Digital Caviar, I think it is. Or it might be a 2.4. It's actually a pretty good drive. It sounds, sounds good, sounds very healthy. Now I am going I am going to replace the spinning drive with a SSD eventually. That's in the it is in the cards. I'm probably just going to go for a uh, IDE to compact flash adapter with a small like maybe an 8 gig compact flash card or something. Oh, yeah, that would have been amazing. A 2X. Got a 68030 at 16 megahertz with 5 megs of RAM and a 40 meg hard drive running system 608. That thing must have fucking flew. I know, you know, I never, I've never owned a 2X. I've had, I've had a couple of Mac 2s. I've had SC30s, which is basically the same as a Mac, Mac 2X. I've had two FXs, two CIs. I never had a two CX. I've had two SIs, but I never had a two X. They just weren't very popular, at least not here, I guess. Yeah. I remember when you used to be able to go to Walmart and buy video games and stuff for uh, for your PC. What do you mean, what's this bullshit? We're installing Windows. What the fuck does it look like, Adam? <laughs> uh, it's actually doing pretty good with the uh, install, surprisingly. Yeah, Alex, that would have been pretty that would have been a pretty good insane setup back then. Picked up a truckload of Apple 2Cs. Oh my god. Just what you need, uh, Adam. More fucking 2Cs.
That's pretty cool, Alex. So you said the thing cost five thousand dollars back then. You know, people piss and moan about the price of new Macs now. It's like, so you figure a five thousand dollar back then probably costs about twenty five thousand dollars now. So, yeah, I'd say we're getting off pretty fucking easy these days. Yeah, I believe it. Take a loan to buy a new Mac then? Yeah, I do believe that. For five grand in the 80s, you could buy a new car. Almost buy a new car. Let's see here. The 2X came out in what? 1990? 1989? I can't remember. I think the 2X came out in 80. Yeah, it came out in 89. So 1989 for five grand, you could buy a you could buy a brand new Yugo and still have money left over. For five thousand dollars, you could almost buy a Chevy Cavalier. I think they started at like six. Oh, maybe it was eighty-seven. I don't. I don't remember. Oh yeah, because wait, 80... it might have been eighty-seven. Trace, I don't remember when they when they came out. <laughs> Oh, five thousand dollars back in the nineteen eighties would have bought you would have gotten you a nice down a really healthy down payment on a house. You could buy a really good house for about twenty five grand. Okay, yeah, 88. That makes sense. Because the 2 and the, the SE30 came out in uh, 87. So I thought the 2X came out a little later. Or no, it was... No, the SE and the 2 came out in 87. Hey, Justin, how you doing? Sorry, this is not a Mac-centric stream. So before you start cussing at me for not working on a Mac, I'm just wanting to know now. Yeah, it's one of the first machines I I I messed with Photoshop on and did photo editing and stuff on was a two FX. Now this was, of course, 
you know, back in the mid 90s when the 2FX was way out of date, but worked fine for me. Ran Photoshop, I think, uh, three. Might have been 2.5. I went from that to a Quadra 700, from the Quadra 700 to a Workgroup 7, Workgroup Server 8550. <laughs> Two FX was just yeah, that thing was fucking insane. Fucking insanely expensive too. Oh my god. Fast as hell, though. Oh shit, 64 megs and a 2FX, that must have been like a $20,000 computer. I definitely wouldn't mind having a 2FX again. But that'll probably never happen, so I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> well, Patrick, the two FX started at ten thousand dollars. I mean, the base base machine was ten grand, and I think that was like an eighty meg hard drive and four megs of RAM. And the RAM for that thing was stupid expensive. Mike, you sent me a message and didn't get a reply. Uh, I don't know where you sent me a message to, Adam. But you can either send me, you can send me an iMessage at this phone number. Or an email. There. Yes. See, Alex, I was totally the opposite. When I was back in the 80s, I, I mean, I was a kid. My dad had a PC. So... Now, yeah, that's my work phone number. It's not like, it's not a very private phone number. <laughs> I don't give my private number out. That's my, that's my company number. I didn't actually own my first Mac until 95. But yes, Adam, I am still looking for a 512 KE.
So Pat, uh, so I always I had I always had a Mac, but my primary machine was a PC, Patrick, until um, a couple years ago when I got um I got the, the matter of fact the one comma one Mac Pro that's sitting right there. I got that back in I think twenty fifteen or not twenty sixteen. When did I wait? Okay, so I moved in here in 2016. So I've been 2018. I got that computer right there. That exact Mac Pro. That's a one comma one. And uh, I, thanks to help from RutK, I, I hacked the uh, LCAP on it. And uh, at that point in time, I retired my PC, my AMD FX PC. And. Uh, I have been using Macs as my primary computers ever since. But even though I, I use Mac, I have I use Macs for certain things, mainly for you know photo editing stuff like that, because I always thought they were better. But I still always had a Windows PC, so. Now I have a 2009 Mac Pro, runs Mojave, runs it rather well. I have upgraded the ever-living shit out of that thing. And I have a 2014 MacBook Pro, 15-inch with an i7 in it. And that thing fucking runs like a, like you wouldn't believe. Oh my god, that thing's fast. Yeah, good for you, Adam. If I had the money you do, I'd probably have a new Mac Studio too. No, I don't know, probably not. I don't really have a use for. I don't know. I just don't really have a use for anything that new. To be honest with you, my 2009 Mac Pro runs perfect. I mean, it. I don't even push that thing to its limit. Even doing video and stuff on Final Cut Pro, I don't even get close to pushing it to its limit. Even with a single processor. I don't know, Starbuck. I think that the new Mac is the new Mac Studio is actually fairly reasonably priced. So right now, Windows 98 is fucking up any plug-and-play devices I might have. Yeah, I haven't really looked into it, but I was I was, I was I I'd seen little bits and pieces that apparently it does have upgradable SSDs, and apparently it also has a CPU socket. That maybe that you can upgrade the CPU later. Unlike the mini where everything's integrated. Well, Patrick, to, to this moment, the newest Apple device that I own is my ooh, iPhone XR. And that's technically, I didn't even buy that new. That was refurbished. My 2016 iPad. My iPad, the first gen iPad Pro was probably the last brand new thing I bought. I bought that thing when it first came out. I had just bought, I bought this Toshiba satellite I have back here. For my uh, ex fiance, and uh, we had some play money at the time, and I told her, I said, "Look, I just bought you this laptop. I'm going to go out and buy myself something." 
And uh, I bought the, the 20, I bought the first gen Mac, Mac, or not Mac, first gen iPad Pro, because I figured, well, it's big enough, I can use it as a laptop, it'll do everything a laptop will do for me, and I still have it, I still use it every day. <laughs> my 2006 Mac Pro is now my Plex server, among other things. I think it has an 8 terabyte RAID in it. <laughs> yeah, I'll say so, Patrick. I prefer not to buy too much Apple stuff brand new. It's just way too expensive. <laughs> well, my 6S Plus is still in use. I use that as my as my business phone. It pretty much just sits in the car all the time. I have it hooked up to my stereo in there. I use it mainly as an iPod, but it is an actual phone. But thanks to iCloud, all the messages and stuff get redirected to my, my main phone and, of course, my Mac. Hey, uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Patrick, my my credit's not perfect enough for a uh, an Apple card, so I'm stuck paying cash. I'm not good enough for a new Mac and Apple's artist. <laughs> All right, Adam. I'll uh, I'll take a look at it when I'm done here. I don't even think you buy AirPods for fucking two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> I know. I tried applying for an Apple card when they first came out with it a few years ago and got declined.
Oh, you, you would be amazed. I swear to God, kitten, kitten shit is like the most smelliest thing in the world. They, they make full-grown cats smell fucking wonderful. I'm down to seven. It makes cleaning the litter box a little easier. Speaking of cats, Trout is just laying here all nice and cute in a ball on top of a box. <laughs> oh, it's almost done, it, Alex. It's finalizing some settings. Why it's so out of focus?
Come on, Betsy, you can do it. Yeah. See you, Alex. Take care. Thanks for stopping. Adam, you're nice to nobody. All right. Well, uh, let's get a smaller one. I guess in the meantime, whoops. Ah. I'll make a half-hearted attempt to clean the floppy drive out. Flashlight go. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yep, right up there is a Mac Mini, 2012. That's when I installed uh, Monterey on. No, this is the longest fucking three minutes in the world. I must be working on a Mac, installing Mac OS or something. I'm about ready to shut it down and restart it. Now the hard drive's doing something. Try this again, see what happens.
All right, let's turn the IBM logo back on because it's cool to look at. Yeah, cats have a ha have a way of doing that, don't they, Starbuck? <laughs> yeah i know how that is sometimes i have that problem every once in a while sometimes my one cat sassy he he gets these wild cat fits and starts running all over the place in the middle of the night and then he'll land on my face trying to get to my nightstand and it always wakes me up and then i want to freaking throw him across the room you added Wi-Fi coverage to the backyard. Oh, God. I barely even have Wi-Fi coverage. <laughs> yeah. Well, thankfully, mine are all adults. My youngest ones are five, so... And that's Boots and Lucy. Well, they, they can get pretty hyper sometimes. You'd be surprised. Sometimes uh, Prada will get this wild tinge of jealousy up his butt, and he'll be laying next to me, and Sassy or Tabby come close, and he'll just start going ape shit on one of them. Yeah. 
Adam, I barely have enough Wi-Fi to make my Roku in the bedroom work. And I'm okay with that. I really only have like three or four Wi-Fi devices in this house. I don't use my iPhone on Wi-Fi. Oh, you're on all ends of the spectrum there, Starbuck. Wow, you got old in fresh. <laughs> well, this is taking it significantly longer than I thought it would. I got my iPad, the Roku in my bedroom, and two security cameras. That's all I got for Wi Fi stuff. Progress showing it is not. It's just sitting there. I mean, it's not locked up. Hey, Retro Techie, how are you? Oh, yeah. Should probably stay dead. Well, I have a feeling we're going to end up having to do this fresh again. Like Starbucks said, I probably fucked it up by shutting it down.
<laughs> Guess we'll see if the floppy drive works. Oh. Apparently it does since I cleaned it. Nice. Oh, apparently this has a 4.1 gig hard drive. And there goes Boots. Firewire 800. Oh my god, what are you using? A Thunderbolt to Firewire adapter? Hey, Soul Blots. Fire oh, Firewire in the Thunderbolt display. Must be an older one. That's pretty cool. Bootsy. Bootsy. Hey, it's time for attentions. Ow, murder mittens. Ah, 
Ugh. What? What? Why did you jump down if you're just going to come right back? Hmm? Why did you jump down if you're just going to come right back? Huh? You're bad. You're bad. You're a bad little tuxedo. You're a bad little tuxedo. You know that. You are so bad. But you're so freaking cute. Get away with everything. It doesn't matter what you do. You still get away with it. Say, because I'm the cutest. I mean, how can you get mad at that little face? How can you get mad at that little face? Burn like hell. <laughs> Poor tree. Formatting the hard drive, Neil. This is a... Uh, that one's Boots, Patrick. Baby, baby Boots. Miss Baby Boots. Hey, there you go. I have a Dell laser printer. I had to bring it home. I have a 1710N. Good printer. Since my uh, Canon all-in-one died on me. Hello, Axiomatic Raptor. How are you? Yeah, we're talking about Dell printers. Hmm. That's a nice one, yeah. No, my middle name is not Dell. I don't even care for Dells, to be honest with you. Oops. Let's see. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't do Dells anymore, and I have to. 
I think I have one here. Yeah, and I don't even use it, to be honest with you. SGI Silicon Graphics Incorporated, Jay. Yeah, I forgot how fucking slow this is.
Alright. <clears throat> I forgot how slow it, how long it fucking takes to format a 4 gig hard drive on a machine like this. It's fucking ridiculous. God, I don't want to go that long. I'm probably going to cut off here soon anyway. I got to I got to do laundry at tonight. Now it's going to run scan disk. Uh. Yeah, that's about right. Ten days later. Well, at least we don't have to format the hard drive this time. I'm going to have to download drivers and all kinds of shit for this thing anyway. What BB? I hear you purring. Well, at least doing it this way, I can do a custom install so I don't have to install every fucking thing in the world.
All right, so we don't need accessibility. Don't need an address book. Don't need dial up networking. I do want hyper terminal though. Don't need that, don't need that. Don't need online services. All right, here we go. I'm going to start copying files again. Should have installed OS2 on the fucking thing. You guys can hear her purring. <laughs> She's purring up a storm. <laughs> Kitty purrs. No, it's not fixed yet. <laughs> so how'd the ultrasonic cleaner do on the keyboard, Jay? <laughs> oh, you gotta love Jay. This is Jay's idea of I don't know if you can see it or not. <laughs> Jay's cleaning a keyboard. I don't know if you guys could see it. Jay's cleaning the keyboard from last night. And he took the keys and he spelled out, fuck you, one. <laughs> oh, my God.
<laughs> yeah, I love you too, Jay. <laughs> Jackass. Oh, I expect nothing less from you, though. Not rude, Dutch. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You are evil. Who wants an evil cat? I give it free. I give it away free. If you're not careful, Boots. I'm going to call the Chinese restaurant up the street. It's back. <laughs> well, Justin, if you're not careful, I got your power book here. You might find that you opened the box and it's got a little more than you bargained for. <laughs> the postal service will deliver it and you'll be like why are there air holes in this box and why is it growling at me <laughs> yeah why is your box meowing <laughs> That Mac is not abandoned, Retro Takey. That Mac belongs to a friend of mine. And yes, I still have the, bo the Dell, Alex, in my car. Oh. Why is it in the car? Because I'm going to be mailing it out to somebody, so there's no point in bringing it inside the house. Yeah. The problem is, Retro Techie, is the guy that I'm giving that Mac that Mac Mini to probably has, I don't know, I'd say probably between five and 600 machines. And I'm going to give him that for most of them. <laughs> Yeah, I got USPS boxes everywhere. It's not in the mail because my ass is lazy and I haven't I just haven't taken the time to pack it up yet.
Hey, you can watch DVDs on it. I wonder if uh, what would happen if I put a DVD burger in this thing. <laughs> I might even have one with a white face. See, as soon as she leaves my view, she starts meowing. I'm going to put one of these on uh, on the front of the Aptiva. Octoon. It's nicked for good work and by Dunghoffin. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have that. I bought those years ago. What is this? Oh my gosh. I've got to have this. Presenting the Macintosh. This probably came out when the Mac did back in the 80s. The copyright press. Read on this thing. Doesn't say. Huh. Where you start now? Yeah, I know. Well, for now, I'm just going to install Windows on it. I'm not going to worry about fucking drivers right now. I probably should have installed Linux on it. I would have been done. What I should have did is just did a fresh install of Windows 95 the first fucking time.
Oh, that sucks. You can't use Toast Titanium on an M1? Ah, fuck that. I'll never buy an M1 then. Mm. How old is your Epson scanner? Oh my god, I didn't know they still made scanners. I think it's probably ancient. Well, Trina, I am technically installing DOS. I mean, sort of. In a roundabout way, I mean, I'm installing... I'm installing DOS with an arrow on top of it. Or now you can get an idea what the screen's doing, at least.
Oh, not that far. <laughs> DVD no longer works. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I guess high DVD is important. <laughs> no, it's not done yet. <laughs> I didn't make chili this year. I should have. I usually make chili every year. Then again, I, I haven't really cooked much of anything this year. Oh. I don't like my neighbors enough to give them food. I trust my neighbors, I just don't like them enough to give them food. You, you gotta rank pretty fucking high for me to share food with anybody. So. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I trust my neighbors to the point where I don't lock my car. Oh, shut up, Retro Techie. It's not done yet. Does it look like it's fucking done? More done this time than it was the last two times. <laughs> yeah, I don't bother locking my car. They want something bad enough out of it to know they'll grab it. I'd rather them do it without breaking a window. I mean, Christ, I don't even lock my front door half the time. I use mine all the time. 
Now, when I have the company car here, I lock that. No, when I leave the house, I lock my car. I just don't do it when I'm here at home. My car sits at home 90% of the time anyway. I'm only using it right now because I don't have a company car. Because uh, one of our vehicles got wrecked and is in the body shop. Otherwise, I my car would be sitting here. The car sits here for the most time, months on end, without being driven. I'd have the oil changed in it the other day for the first time in like a year and a half. Whoa. My downstairs neighbor uses it every once in a while to go to the laundromat or go to the store because they don't have a car right now. But they don't go far with it. Stuff it expander still works in OS 12. That's actually kind of amazing. Sure, I'll park it in Tom's River. You can have everything that's in the trunk. It's nothing but a bunch of PCs, Patrick. God, it found the monitor. <laughs> Actually detected the fucking monitor. <laughs> <laughs> it wants to install a driver for the fucking monitor. Oh my god. That's funny. Well, found the USB. Didn't find the sound, though. Kind of weird. What? Well, it's definitely Windows. I 
Uh, it's got onboard sound, but I was actually thinking about putting a sound card in it. Think about putting a Sound Blaster Audigy in it. Just because I can. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh... Yeah, a Sound Blaster card in this would definitely be a, a big help. This one has firewire on it too. Woohoo! And a bunch of corrosion. Oh. No idea if this thing even works. I'm just going to scrub the whole thing down. Toofy brush. Okay. It's filthy. I think my battery's dead. Yeah, battery's dead. Oh, well. Oh, I've got to charge my power toothbrush. No, this one here belonged to my uh, ex, actually. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. I actually bought a whole bunch of them things at the at the thrift store, brand new. I have two. I have two of them in my bathroom. Well, I have one in the bathroom that's for my mouth, and then um, that one there belonged to my ex fiance. She left it here. It's like. Hmm. I'm going to use that to fucking clean computer boards. I thought that was a good use for it. She's a piece of shit anyway. So every time I use to scrub the computer down, I feel a little giddy inside. Yeah, I thought about it. I don't give her shit. Uh. <laughs> Let's move this modem down a slot. Take care, Burrow Cakes. Good luck. Well, let's see what happens. Hmm. Doesn't have anything in here for the sound, so. Yeah. I know, I gotta do the floor in my kitchen too. It's getting pretty ratty. Mm-hmm. 
found something. It's firewire. Thing is pretty snappy though. I see ROM drives making some hellish noises. Those are working.
No, I'm just saying I'm going to copy the rest of this and then call it a day. I need to go do laundry, eat dinner. Not necessarily in that order. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate it. Right now, I'm just copying the Windows 98 CD-ROM to the hard drive, so I don't have to dig the CD-ROM out every time I need it. So it's just to install a basic driver, you have to have the fucking CD all the time. <clears throat> Yeah, I know. It's disappointing. I remember back in the day, they used to have different startup chimes for different machines, and we've had the same fucking startup chime since the 90s now. It's very disappointing. Hi, right, can I help you? They're floofing. This is one of his favorite things to do, is lay on my arm when I'm trying to use my mouse. Mm. Oh, shut up, Jay. You're a fucking asshole. Of course, you already knew that, so I don't know what I'm not telling you anything new. I would rather install Windows 10 a thousand times versus trying to install Windows 98 or even 95. Because at least Windows 10, when it's done, it's fucking done. It's not showing unknown devices on here. All right, with this, I'm going to shut this machine down. I'm going to have to look online to see if I can find drivers for it. Yeah. 
So, on this note, I am going to get off of here, go wash my clothes so I have something clean to wear tomorrow that's not covered in cat hair. So, thank you for joining me. Thank you, everybody, for the super chats. And uh, we'll do this again next weekend. Have a wonderful night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.